All right, so there's one other thing that I wanted to touch on right quick while I've got uh, slobs opened. Uh, you can do this in a regular OBS, OBS Live, OBS Studio, whatever. You can do it in any of them. So I've been seeing a lot of these videos cropping up lately on TikTok where they're talking about the quality of having uh, your microphone audio, you know, when you're talking and you're gaming, how, you know, your game level should be lower than you when you're talking so that you're audience and people can understand what you're saying and that you you know any any other audio that you if you're playing music on your stream obviously that should be lower that should be lower than the game volume and lower than you speaking on your stream so and they're they're like going well you know like i like to slide this little slider down to here you know to keep my microphone from peeking and like you know I like to slide my output down to here so it doesn't over peak on on uh, you know my stream and you know I like to have my game audio like over here you know like down here or something so that it's not as loud as as you know me speaking or not as loud as my game and you know for people that don't have like an XLR or something like an XLR uh, their soft you know Elgato's got a software uh, based version for a lot of their stuff that works like an XLR. I think there's even some like free software out there similar to voice meter that you can use like an XLR to limit this stuff. But the point is, is instead of going through all of that hullabaloo and garbage and crap and going through all those steps, the one thing that you can do to limit your microphone from peaking is to go into your microphone software and turn down the gain on the microphone. Like if I was to yell into my microphone, if I was to get this close to my microphone right here, I'm never going to peak. I'll never peek that close, far away or whatever, because I've made sure to turn my microphone down to where it never ever peaks out and cuts out. And what I mean by peaking, like technically anything beyond green is peaking, but what I mean by peaking is when it goes into the red and then it starts, at, it starts sounding like that because you've gone beyond the capabilities of the microphone and it'll just happen. But anyway, that's not what we're here about. What we're here about is, is that Instead of doing all that stuff for, you know, your your game sounds and this and that and the other, you want to go to your headphones, whatever your headphones are, doesn't matter. You want to click on the cog. You want to go to filters. Now, in my case, I've already made this filter, but you want to add filter and the filter type that you want is a compressor and you want to call it ducking. And essentially what this does is, is when a game is playing and it's coming through your headset, which is being recorded by OBS, when you start speaking, the game sound and the music sound and whatever goes downward as you're speaking. And when you stop speaking, it slowly brings itself back up to the level that it was before. This way, your people that are in your stream, your viewers, your community, whatever, can always hear what you're saying because the game sound will never be a problem, especially for people that are older and listen to shit louder. It helps with that, but it can help everybody. So anyway, you make a filter. It's a compression filter. You call it ducking, and then you can say ducking for stream audio or whatever, and you want to come over here, and these settings have worked out great for me. Uh, you can watch some YouTube videos. They're probably going to be pretty much the same, but you want your ratio to be 5.5, threshold negative 45, which is decibels. You want the attack to be 60, which is milliseconds. You want the release to be 550, which is also milliseconds. So a slower release in case you start talking again, it doesn't get all the way back to full volume and it won't be like going when you're talking like a roller coaster. Your output gain will be zero. Most people are talking on amplified microphones in a way you don't need any more gain. And then you want your side chain forward slash ducking source to be your microphone and make sure you specifically pick your microphone. Don't do default. That's not going to work. You need to make sure it is specifically your microphone, just like over here in your mixer, you need to make sure that when you have your input your primary input audio that it is specifically selected as your microphone anyway i hope this guy this i, I hope this helps you guys and uh i'll see you on the next vid